Hello students. Previously, we have learned that how to draw vertical lines from North Pole to South Pole and uh, we realized that these uh, lines form semicircle. These uh, semicircles are known as a meridians of a longitude. Today, we will see about meridians of longitude. Let us see. What is the term meridians of longitude? The vertical lines runs from North Pole to South Pole. The vertical lines on a globe runs from North Pole to South Pole. They are called meridians of longitude. They are spaced furthest at the equator. Look at this blue colors line, horizontal line. This is a 0 degree equator. These and these vertical lines are spaced furthest apart at the equator. The distance between every two meridian is a more on equator and it is the same. Look at the distance between every two consecutive meridians. The distance between every two meridians on equator is the same. And these all the meridians converge at both the poles, North Pole and South Pole. The distance between every two consecutive meridian goes on decreasing towards North Pole and towards South Pole from equator. And all these meridians appear as a points on both the poles. As you know that uh, our earth size is a spherical in shape and there are 360 degrees in spherical object. So at the interval of 1 degree, one can draw 360 longitudes on a globe and, and imaginary on the earth. One of uh, these uh, meridians is uh, considered to be 0 degree meridian. It is known as a prime meridian. Zero degree meridian considered as a prime meridian. The angular distances of other meridians from the prime meridian are measured in a degrees and are called longitudes. The zero degree prime meridian and 180 degree meridian lies opposite on the globe. This is a 0 degree prime meridian and uh, exact opposite side of this meridian that meridian's degree is a 180 degree. Look at this uh, 180 degree meridian and uh, these uh, two meridians 0 degree prime meridian and 180 degree meridian forms a circle on a globe and this circle divides earth into eastern hemisphere and western hemisphere. The part of the earth east of the prime meridian, this is the prime meridian, the part of the earth east of the prime meridian to 180 degree that lies opposite side of a 0 degree prime meridian is called eastern hemisphere and the part of the earth west of the prime meridian to 180 degree meridian that lies exactly opposite side of a prime meridian is called 
वेस्टर्न हेमिस्फीयर देर आर वन हंड्रेड सेवेंटी नाइन मेरिडियंस इन ईस्टर्न हेमिस्फीयर एंड वन हंड्रेड सेवेंटी नाइन मेरिडियंस इन वेस्टर्न हेमिस्फीयर इंक्लूडिंग जीरो डिग्री प्राइम मेरिडियन एंड वन एटी डिग्री मेरिडियन वन कैन ड्रॉ थ्री सिक्सटी मेरिडियंस ऑन अ ग्लोब All the meridians are equal in size. Remember that if uh, opposite meridians are taken together, they complete circle. But they are valued separately as a two meridians. Meridians in the eastern hemisphere are labeled. as a 10 degree east longitude 20 degree east longitude 30 degree east longitude and meridians in the western hemisphere are labeled as a 10 degree west longitude 20 degree west longitude 30 degree west longitude like this way now look at uh, figure number 1.6 earth's angular measurements on page number 4 see this a uh, 30 degree east longitude it is a semi circle that joins all places at an angular distance of uh, 30 degree from the prime meridian this is a 0 degree prime meridian some of them are cairo harare and durban in africa the distance between any two adjacent parallels is 111 km on the earth surface and the distance between any two meridians is also 111 km on the equator to locate the places within a this distance of 111 km exactly we need to divide the unit degree into smaller units degrees are divided into minutes and minutes are divided into seconds conventionally latitudes and longitudes are expressed into degrees minutes and seconds each degree is divided into 60 minutes and a minute into 60 seconds these values are expressed using the symbol look at this symbol degree minutes and second this is a symbol of degree this is a symbol of a minute and this is a symbol of seconds next point the graticule the parallels and meridians on the globe on the globe the parallels and the meridians on the globe form a net that is called graticule this facilitates determining the location of a place on earth surface in this way today we have learned about the meridians of longitude and we have seen that the parallels and meridians on the globe forms a net that is called graticule